here we have a finished product. Uh, I've been fermenting the sauerkraut for exactly a month today. Uh, I'm not hearing it bubble anymore. I'm pretty sure it's done. Uh, I've kept it pretty climate controlled in the house. And uh, today I'm going to take it out and jar it and see what we have. All right, so this way you can see the final product. There should be, should kind of uh, hear that suction when I take this off. There it is. Now, last time I had a little bit of trouble getting the water out of this, uh, I don't know, moat, whatever you want to call it. I just got a paper towel and kind of sopped it up little by little. I could probably pour it, but it's it's going to make a mess. So I'll do this first. And I had to refill, I had to refill the, uh, this rim probably every three days or so. It would almost be empty just from evaporation. Um, but it never got to where uh, it wasn't sealed. So we're good. This, the uh, scent is a lot less than the last time I did it. I don't know why. Maybe because the last time I fermented it was uh, summer and it was a lot hotter. But nothing the last time it was I mean it was a it was pungent stinging in the nostrils yeah it's it's mild right, that's probably enough. <clears throat> I'll let you take a look inside there are the weights and this time I have virtually n no cabbage above the line <clears throat> so that's good don't have to worry about any weird fermentation going on all right let's take these out my jar and I sterilize them. They're all ready to go. Why do I make this so difficult? I'll put these big leaves in there. I lay the big leaves down before I put the weights <clears throat> so that none of the small leaves, none of the small leaves come through the weight and it worked. There's not like you, as you could see, there were only, you know, a few leaves on the top. That looks good. It looks a lot better than the last time. I don't know, the last time, I don't know what the difference is, but yeah, it smells good. Last time I also, I used a food processor and it came out way too fine for my taste. Maybe that had something to do with why it had a different scent and it just, it just tasted, I don't want to say gamier, but stronger for sure. And that's some liquid in this.
there you go. It looks it looks pretty close to what you get in the store, even though the the store stuff's usually pasteurized. It's it's really hard to find raw sauerkraut in the store, and if you do, it's not cheap. That's why this is a, a great way to to uh, get you know raw good sauerkraut. And all my all the cabbage I bought was organic, and it's cheap. I mean, I paid like ten bucks for five heads or something like that, and they were good size heads. You can't beat that. I'm also growing, I have two, well I have four or five cabbage plants coming up in the backyard. I'm going to mix our crop from those as well when they're done. They're still premature, but It smells completely different. It smells good. I'm going to try it, actually. That's weird. It tastes completely different from the last time. It's real mild. Last time it was... You could taste it. This is about four and a half heads. I didn't quite use five because I wanted there to be some room at the top. We're gonna have cabbage for days. That's great. This might not even be enough jars. Yeah, it should continue to ferment, I think. I believe I read that. It should continue to ferment, even when they're in the jars, which is good. The more good bacteria, the better. space in these jars. That's what I might need. More the better. I say virtually every jar that's salvageable and has the pop top and a rubber seal. My wife hates it. Hates it. She's getting used to it actually. But they're just good to have around. I use them for everything. And they're expensive. I mean, I bought those mason jars that I packed, and they're, I bought them on Amazon, and they're like a buck fifty, two bucks each with the lid, whereas these, you, you buy food with them anyway, you might as well use them. And my in-laws, her parents, make sauce every year, they're from Italy, and they have jars that are from the, like, 70s or 80s, like these tall, seven up bottles with the small tops and they're still good they've been using them for 30 or 40 years i that tells you right there that they can be reused over and over all right so this is what i got like a 24 ounce these are 32 that's 24 or two I believe and I think that's that might be 64 oh, that might be two of those so one two three four five six and then those are 24 
like seven, eight, plus another jar in here easily. So nine or 10 quarts from four and a half heads. And this will last me a couple months, probably two or three months. I eat a little bit every day. Maybe not that long. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe two months. But I'm happy. And, uh, yeah, came out good. Like I said, definitely a different flavor this time. Not nearly as strong, but in a good way. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. All right? Take care and God bless.